What's up? What's up, y'all? Welcome back to season three of Skinny Tober. We are now in episode three. What is good, y'all? What's up? We got Eliza. I mean, <laughs> wait, I'm sorry. I'm so used to. I'm so used to. The, okay, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so used to the, the skinny squad being right? here. No, we got Elegancia events and right. Jasmine motherfucking Gliss. What's good? What's up, guys? What's up? <laughs> okay. Wait, it's as hot. Y'all know, as y'all know, we usually have the skinny squad, and today we're switching it up. And I did see this requested a lot. I did. Yeah. You guys have been requesting for both jasmine and Luis to be on the podcast oh and honestly it's hard especially when it has to do with like the skinny squad we actually like originally we're gonna add Luis to skinny tober and we were like yo where are we gonna put like 10 people on this stage i think like, we were but he was like booked and busy so he couldn't make yeah, it on i'm still booked and busy but we, have him, we have him here too late today ladies i just gotta say i, I look fucking crazy okay guys, for the guys i look fucking <laughs> Fat. <laughs> Very but, animated. I, I know. We should tell the listeners who we are because okay, some Mr. of them are Big listening. Back. Mr. Big Back is crazy. Big Back. If some of you guys are tuning in on Apple Podcasts, I think we should explain what we are, you guys. Okay. So Today, I'm, I'm, I'm Beetlejuice plus size. Like, right. <laughs> yeah, period. <laughs> He, he he died a couple years back, but he hasn't decayed yet. You know? Okay, He's still okay. Full size. Wait, He's are we all Beetlejuice, or I'm so confused? Wait, Wait no, your no, name no. is I, actual Beetlejuice. Um, yeah. Oh shit! You know what it is? I haven't watched like the movie entirely, so I don't know like the Bruh. names. Like, well, the movie is called Beetlejuice, <laughs> so we're Beetlejuice. So I'm in character. So Luis is actual <laughs> Ju- Luis is actual Beetlejuice. Get it together, bitch! Like, why? Like, why? <laughs> is it like that one stage of like? When you decompose, where you swell up a little bit, like why imagine? Okay, I mean, that's scary. She's a little swollen right now. <laughs> she's a little swollen. She's about to burst at the seams. I'm know? about to <laughs> fucking explode as we speak. Burst is it's scary. It's scary. Honestly, uh, I, feel, I think it's the costume. All my all my insecurities are Stop. coming out right now for sure. No, I think it's a mix of the white face and the it's wig. The white face. It's me gaining 15 pounds after the surgery. So He's like, it's the body face. <laughs> Body. body is tea baby it's, no, the, man, back. Yeah, it's the big back like, no, i feel you i feel like a fucking inflated balloon with his no, wig and I, dress I can't too. breathe i can't breathe like it's hot in here i'm wearing a wig i have makeup on my jacket is three sizes smaller than me <laughs> and i was already feeling insecure we told you to make it into a corset in the bag but you didn't want to guys we guys we should just open true it story. watch watch guys guys <laughs> so back in the day I mean, I'm still fat, but I used to be fatter. <laughs> queen. I mean, you so were fat, a lot bigger, queen. Yeah. When I was, when I was like big, I was, I was able to see my weight. Like fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I was we big, to, we would have had to use the whole couch, queen, if it yeah. was a few years back. Imagine. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, when I used to be bigger, I was just telling Myra earlier when I was trying on my Beetlejuice outfit because it's fucking small. It gave me flashbacks of when we used to go shopping for like the weddings or the like, quinceañeras. Because, like, I would go to the tuxedo places and, like, the biggest size they had never fit me. Like, it was fucking Queen. tragic. So, I remember once this lady was like, ¿Por qué no te compras dos? I was like, what do you mean Queen. dos? She's like, yeah, you can buy two jackets and just make one. That's the Queen <laughs> shit. <laughs> so, she, obviously, they wouldn't, like, sew two together, obviously, right? Like, but they would use the fabric it's of one. It's on my four hands. Like, no. <laughs> Wait, what? No, we used to make fun of it, like, saying that it was a corset in the back, like, oh, big. No, but... Wait, the real question is, were they charging double the price? Well, yeah, I would have to buy two tuxedos. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. So they would just grab a piece from, like, the sides, Queen. and they would add here for my big back. Like, <laughs> my, my back like my... And it would make it, like, more comfortable. Because, you know, when you're big, like, you know, I need Queen. to take this shit off. I can't. <laughs> He's like, I can't, I can't move. Be. He's like, y'all got the intro good. I'm done, <laughs> Okay, so you're you are um, Beetlejuice. 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 He's the actual Beetlejuice. I I feel like we all look a little thick as shit, bitch. Because this, look, I thought the green was gonna slim me down a little bit. I look fucking crazy. No, I, bitch, you look so good. I mean, this is I, my favorite. I, I mine's my favorite too, but I, I look a little thick. All right. <laughs> so what's your <laughs> name? Are, is her name Argentina? <laughs> Miss Argentina, but Louise put Miss Slime on it. Okay. Oh my God. Um, I know that she's a receptionist in the afterlife, right? That's all I know about her, I Miss Argentina. So. I don't know if she has a name, and your name is. Margaret? I'm no, the one that Barbara. crashes on the, in the lake, no? <laughs> and we have the handbook for the recently deceased. Okay. So what are you, Queen? Wait, what's her name? Lydia. <laughs> Lydia. I'm Lydia from Beetlejuice. Have y'all okay. not watched the fucking movie? Nobody I knows watched her. <laughs> I don't know her name. I only know that it's like Winona Ryder. She's that, I only know she's that bitch. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> 
that's that's that you're like so your character like if i could describe you as a character it would be lydia from beetlejuice thank you girl Absolutely. these costumes definitely ate actually the Doug martin's the hair yes it's her <laughs> jasmine like she's like in her well she's not a she's 18 now she jasmine just she turned just turned 18, 18 last week that's some queen shit so she's in her like little um rebel that, era no i like was gonna say teenage, she's been in that era uh, i don't know how to explain era. it in another way what i don't know i don't know what i'm adult saying adult era <laughs> i don't know where i was going era youth no 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 you know like when you're like in that time like you, you're trying to find yourself like oh, oh yeah yeah, yeah. Bye. Bye. no Bye. no, Bye. Bye. no <laughs> like, because sometimes like like i see her and she's like a little like emo girl and then i don't know where she's like a chola and then i don't know where like okay. never right. seen her she's a, okay. she's a thrifter a, like stop what? right now <laughs> stop i don't know I'm she's gonna try it today confusing. i have never seen her as a chola actually Oh, I know what you, you mean. You know what I mean, right? Like the eyebrow style a little like bit. That, like what? that Latina. Yeah, like with Latina. the baggy pants and stuff. Not her Latina era. That's <laughs> <laughs> A little too confused. <laughs> but you know what I mean, right? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Not, by the way, like no, Jasmine having like her long ass nails, it's giving like like like, like Latina, Latina, right? Yeah. 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 But, yet, but yet the she like, nails? but yet she dresses like, you know, she likes to drift her clothes and, you know, like, so like. I love it. She's like, yeah. Yeah. I love it. She's a definition of a Gen Z for sure. We're here for the Gen Z queen. Okay. <laughs> what were we saying earlier? I feel like this was literally like teenagers, right? Like how I'm dressed. Yeah. This is why everybody looked like Senora as 18 years old. That's, That's what my mom looked like in the 80s for real. Like yeah. this is why everybody looked much older back in the days. Because girl, like I look like at least 20 years older. You look 50. You're kidding 48. 47. Like crazy. It's giving senora with like six kids. Girl. Wait, 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 wait well, she has heels on. I oh mean, God, I think it's like no, actually a formal no. dress. Wait. That's an actual dress from like back then. Queen, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Wow. No wonder y'all look so old. Okay, eh? so by the looks of it, none of us watched the movie or? I've watched, I watched the movie. Oh, I watched Jeepers Creepers the book. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong yeah, movie. Creepers. I've watched Beetlejuice the first one. I haven't watched the I new one. I just watched the new one. It's, I, I liked it. <laughs> is it good? I, liked I it. actually I watched it too. Like, I, I feel like the only thing that I didn't like about the new movie is that like, the lady, like, she was, like, an artist, like, wanna be influencer, right? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> See, that's weird. Like, no, they, it's so Gen Z. Like, it's, yeah, they so try to, they try to incorporate, like, the, like, the, Gen Z. Yeah. Our time and That was literally yeah. Hocus such Pocus. such an iconic yeah. movie like, from back you know, in the day. That's Pocus exactly was Gen Z. what they did it's for like Hocus that. Pocus. Like, yeah. the remake. Like, oh. like, when Why? Hocus Pocus, when they started singing in the beginning, I knew right away, I was like, oh, fuck. That you. was like, so yeah. terrible. I'm like, they don't even, like, what in the fucking... I haven't watched the new Beetlejuice. I mean, the OJ movie is fucking iconic. Myra, yeah. Myra, I told Myra she's watched Beetlejuice, and she doesn't even remember the movie. I've watched it. I know they crashed in the lake. I know, yeah. like, people move into the house. No, it's... it's. A, I watched it when I was younger, so I don't know much It's details. a really good movie. Uh, it's so I good, I can't remember man. much from, like, the first movie, but, like, the second movie kind of refreshes you, like, the... Yeah. Like the idea of, of not the okay. idea, but like, you know what the movie's about. Yeah, like yeah. kind of goes down. Yeah, okay. it's pretty much like it's pretty much like this new family moving to a home where there's like this. You know how they have in the in the attic they have like the the city like made a mini version. Oh, oh they have it again. That. Yeah. So if you say Beetlejuice three times, he comes, and then like, I don't know. You go to I don't Wait, know what it is. Giving but, like when people would say Bloody Mary like in the mirror like in elementary school. Did y'all ever try that? Yes. I think I, I, no, no, you no, tried no, it, just I, I I know it was a thing, but like I remember, like I wait, think I've done it before. Say? But like you just say Bloody Mary like three times, it doesn't fucking work, girl. Like why? You tried like, it? Yeah, but like oh, when I was hell, younger, I used to no. watch YouTube videos, and it would scare me so much. What kind of shit did you play? Because you give me the vibes that you played off no, of weird shit. I would never play like the Ouija board. Or <laughs> oh hell, no. like, did you play other games? I don't play with like that shit. No, you the fact that they used to sell it at. I mean, I'm sure they still sell it. But remember, I used to see it at. Is that store, Toys R Us? 
It's at Target right now. That's crazy. Oh, hell no. They sold it. They sell it at Spirit Halloween right now. I feel like that's where I draw the line with spooky shit. Like, I like to keep it cute because not even Halloween, bitch. Like, I'll throw a skeleton out here and there, but that's crazy. No, no. I've never done that. You guys know one time I did have, like, okay, so Brian's brother, he is more like goth. I don't know. I don't want. I don't know. Not (laughs) goth. um, He is. I don't know what they would. I Yeah. When I say goth. He's just more like a yeah. goth like era. A uh, so he had the Ouija board. And oh, I remember yeah. one time we were having like a barbecue and he brought it out. And I literally remember it was like right by me and Brian, like right was fucking it on there. Was it your house? No, this was years ago. This oh. was at their house. Oh, but I don't know. I, like, I guess some people believe in it. I mean, clearly some people don't he, like they, they didn't. I mean, well, not they. He, he didn't. But I'm like, yeah. bro, the fact that it was like I got to see it like in person. Oh, hell no. I, I feel can't. like not everybody does because I feel like, for example, like I don't know if it's just like the Hispanic community that we're so like, you know, no, like yeah, I, I can't even scary. look at one passing down the aisle at Target because oh, I, no. I get scared. But I feel like there's like a lot of people that for them it's just a toy. Yeah, because yeah. like, yeah. but if you're watching this and you're like, what's the big deal in the Hispanic community? It's like literally like you're witchcraft literally basically you're, yeah. it's almost like i still think it's dancing it's, with the devil straight up you're I, dead I, literally I, think, yeah. I, you I believe that. that yeah i would never touch one i don't even want to see it if i see it in stores i'm like i don't i don't even want to acknowledge it because yeah. yeah. people use it as like their halloween <laughs> huh? i'm melting like your hair is all I'm over finally your face. Decaying, like, <laughs> finally decaying. Your hair is literally all over your face, queen. At the end, you're just like melting in the couch. Like, why? <laughs> like, why? Please. Like, you why? become the couch. <gasps> Wait, isn't there like a story of some oh. girl that melted into the couch? Guys, I have, I have a lot of clients that are cops. Oh. And like when we have our meetings with for the, like their upcoming weddings, uh-huh. I always ask him like, hey, like, you know, I'm so curious to, to hear stories of like oh my cops because they see everything, right? Mm-hmm. Well, and, was it like their wedding or? Yeah, like, I ha- I have okay, a lot of clients that, like, they're they're cops for some reason. Uh-huh. Like, either the guy's a cop and the the the, wi- the future bride, bride is, is the teacher, like, whatever. Mm-hmm. But I recently did a wedding that she was a cop. It was really cool. So, anyways, mm-hmm. um, I usually always ask him, like, because, you know, you eventually become friends and you ask him, like, hey, like, so, like, what what's the weirdest see? stuff you've seen? And then, yeah, there was one, this guy told me that um, they went to, um, the family had called because... They couldn't. No les contestaba la mamá. Like the, it was like an older lady. Uh-huh. So they they knew right away. They felt like that had happened, uh-huh. but they didn't want to go check in the house because obviously they didn't want to see it. Uh-huh. So they they, didn't so they sent check. the cops and yeah they broke into the not broke but like they, they went yeah, to yeah. the house and they literally like found her like acostada en el sillón. So she probably got a heart attack laying on her uh-huh. couch, and it had passed like ya habían pasado como dos semanas. Uh-huh. Two oh. weeks, oh my gosh. and she literally like had melted into the couch. Like that's so, so sad. when they, oh, another guy too, like they found a homeless guy in his car, which that's so tragic. And like también se quedó like um, como recargado en su volante, and when they pushed him back, that his face stayed on the wheel. <gasps> yeah. Oh, like a lot of crazy stories like that. My goodness. We obviously don't see them every Wait, day. That's we're so clubs. scary. Yeah. Like I feel like you need to have like you need to be strong minded for that shit. Yeah. Didn't you want to be like in a funeral home? I used to. I <laughs> during the pandemic, I feel like everybody had like a little an identity uh, crisis. Absolutely, I thought I wanted to be a mortician. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. Is that ta- I forgot I what you call it? Yeah, yeah, mortician. yeah, I wanted to like go to school and like be able to like um mm-hmm. like like restore bodies after after they were dead. Oh, okay, like with wax, like injuries. Absolutely not. I'm sorry, but like once I started, like I used to I used to follow like a whole bunch of like. YouTube channel the people that actually did it too. Yeah. and they would share like their experiences. You were like hella watching those, things. and I loved it. Like there's so many ways of like I learned a lot of like death law, like like you know like when you die. There's like, death laws. Oh my god. There's yeah, like there, there's death laws. Law. Like like there's just so many things like how the family like you know you have so many rights over your loved one. Like if Wait, you, wanna, you told me if about you want to go buy the coffin at Costco and you set the body in the coffin and you bury it yourself, you could do that. You don't have to pay a service, you know, what? it's just, it became such a, a, a thing of like funeral homes doing it for you. You just assume that they, they have to do it. The, the, the thing that I learned the most, it was like, Oh, like people treated death like an emergency. Like, Oh no, get it away. Take it out of the house, take it to, to the morgue and then to the funeral home. Yeah. And then you guys deal with it. Yeah. And it became a business because people don't want to deal with it. Yeah. But you could deal with it. Mm-hmm. You could do, you could do everything yourself. What's like the craziest save yourself thing? Money. What's the craziest like thing you learned about that? that um, there's there's this new thing of getting disposing of bodies, like not just burying them or cremating them, 
that you can literally boil them to liquid. Oh, oh I heard it. Yeah. Boil them. Literally, there's a machine Ay, where you put them in there and they they boil in an extreme heat. Que se hacen líquido. They completely dissolve into water. Oh, and cool. what's the, oh, where does the God. water go? Pues, al drain, you completely se desaparece. Well, no longer like exist. Cremation? Well, obviously you're dead, pero... But even cremation, literally, your ashes. No, pero there's a way, Mara, of haciendo el cuerpo en agua. I feel like that's a lot water. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we are, like, what, 70% I'm water? Sorry, yeah. I'm sorry, laughing because, like, why it's are you... Just no, it's literally, Mara, parece una olla de pozole, like, así... <laughs> And okay. you throw them in there and like <laughs> they, right. they, they, they boil them like to why. the point that they become liquid. No, that's and like, there's also that other ones that is really humane. cool, like that they can make you like into seeds, like in a cardboard box, like you know, just to <laughs> yeah. the earth. And you're like, yeah. you're literally, like it's like a bunch of like you're literally surrounded by greens, right? Yeah. And you like just just oh, I've seen that where you like yeah, yeah like, like you you become soil, right? Yes. Like where they use yeah. you to to grow trees and stuff. Yeah. And that's actually like the purest way to go. Like, the the creepiest one out. That grossed me out was the, the, the one that like being boiled. That that was that was crazy. That's, no, that's great. You yeah. got any more fun facts? Didn't you say that? There's like, a lot of. I know like, you told me you about this one. Like, I used to be up to like four or five in the morning watching didn't random videos. That, didn't you say that legally somebody could bury a loved one in their yard? Yes. Well, you could. It's just now there. Obviously, there's laws. Guys, I I don't know, right? Like it's just mm -hmm. me you watching just random research. YouTube videos. Yeah, but there's a lot of things that we don't know. Like yeah. That we don't research, that we like, you know, like. So there's no rush. Like you could literally go, you could do the service well, yourself. You can literally, well, from what? Okay, again, disclaimer. Like, I don't again, know. This I is just true. saw this on TikTok. Like, I just saw this shit on YouTube. But from what I know, if like you know, you could literally go buy a coffin yourself at Costco. I didn't even know Costco sells coffins. Like they you sell could, everything. You could buy a coffin and you could literally load up your your family member like in your truck and take him to the cemetery. And bury oh, them yourself. Heck, no. Okay, but I feel like there's a line between that though. Absolutely, you can commit murder, yes. go buy a coffin. Oh, no, oh yes. shit! Pero, pero, like, for, like you could, I again don't. If somebody's in, like a real you mortician could. and they work at a funeral, yeah. obviously yeah. I feel like, you know, I don't yeah, know, you whatever. Just, yeah, something you, you don't saw. know. <laughs> but you could literally like go pick up your love, your 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 family member from the morgue yourself <laughs> and load them up in your car and then again guys this might sound fake i don't know maybe it is but i've heard it's possible there's laws I mean, there's laws well, yeah yeah you have crazy. the right over your loved one no yeah. well you were the one that that's... told me that you can keep a loved one like overnight yeah and like that's one of the, and i also heard it from a friend too and that's why like for my baby's funeral we kept them overnight yeah and if i hadn't known that like i obviously wouldn't have done that yeah. but i you feel know, like that's a, i feel like that's like so healing for so, families there's so many guys so you don't I, feel like you have to say so bye many, like right away. There's so many like I feel like every funeral home or or you know every company mm -hmm. they have different ways of like the way they offer their service, right? Yeah. Because I recently in Marisol's family, like you know, they they lost one of their uncles, mm -hmm. and to me it was so different, Mara, that they were velaron al señor toda la noche in the funeral home. Wow. So it started like oh, at seven p.m. And it ended at seven in the morning. Whoa! Full twenty four hours. Wait, what, in here? Mexico, they yeah. do that. Um, yeah, like the funeral home allowed them, the family to stay at the funeral home, like twenty four hours. So we left like at me and the kids and Marisol. We left because we were really tired. Yeah. We left like at four in the morning, but they uh, stayed whoa. with their loved one like hasta. So some services do offer that because yeah. honestly, I feel like and a lot of funerals feel rushed. Yeah. They do feel Some rushed. Funerals feel but rushed. But I feel like that's why, like, when, when you're in that situation, you, you should just, like, look for the right company. Like, the same thing, like, with me with event planning. Like, it's, like, everybody, mm -hmm. every planner or every funeral home is going to offer you a different service. Yeah. You know? And you just... I feel like you would... You would... I would, I would. I feel like honestly, you, would be, you would be that TikToker, that guys, one girl. Guys, guys. The, the, the funeral director. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Thinking about it as, like, a business, of it's, course, like, I would... I would love because it's gonna sound really, really fucked up, right? But mm. like in the in the industry that I'm in, um, it's not a it's not like it's you don't need to have a wedding, you don't need to have like a a pretty party. You don't. Mm -hmm. It's like a como un lujo, right? How do you say it in English? Yeah, yeah, it's like a luxury. 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 It's a luxury. So unfortunately, we're all gonna die. Mm -hmm. We all eventually mm -hmm. require of a funeral home. Yeah. Or a funeral director or whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. So sad. So tragic. But it's the reality that we're all going to die. You know? Yeah. And as, if you see it as a business point of view, like you'll be like, oh my God, it is an amazing business. Yeah. 
pero, because everybody dies. Pero the only the only <sighs> ugly hard, part yeah. is I would not be able to like like Wait, mentally. How do you clock out of that? Like I I'm so I live in a bubble, guys. Like watch my bubble is happiness, weddings, parties, yes. like making people happy. Like that's my bubble. Weddings, I mean fairy Wedding, tales. Every Ooh. fairy tales. You're creating a fairy tale every weekend. Yep. So in that world is lo contrario. Oh. So Ooh. I actually I feel like the only thing that keeps me sane in my men- mental health, even though I always rant of how stressed I am and I hate what I do. Like not that I hate it, but like <laughs> it's stressful. It's, fun. it's so stressful, right? But at the same time, like it's bonito. Mm-hmm. So I'm okay. But Iconic. there's no way, like imagine taking like you know hearing stories and taking them home and like seeing like day, bodies exactly. how they're not supposed to be oh, and like remembering that at all. every day that's why you have to be like mentally really strong you have to be for mentally that. strong for it but hey you never know it's maybe like one day in hospitals too like they see like stuff that you're like how do you cope but for sure for what i do that's like true. even now like not anybody could deal with it like no. jasmine glitz has helped me before and like absolutely we, not. we work with you too everybody has crazy. worked jasmine has worked for all of us huh Jasmine does help. She she helps so much. She does. But it's her she fucking does. attitude. Oh, it's her attitude. Oh, my gosh. Well, damn. Y'all must no. have. Oh, my gosh. Let me tell you. We did this wedding. And I needed to, like, there was no water, no nothing. Like, I could not. Like, I could not. I had to was sit there, down. Was there like, water, like, hydrated? It was at oh, the wedding. Yeah. And I literally was, like, <laughs> no, about to pass the guys, fuck out. Guys, not was, me neglecting my employees. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Guys, no había agua. Like, todavía no llegaban. usually when we don't. Oh, they, the party had no, started yet. Yeah, it don't. was, like, it was at a venue where, like, no había nada. Right? No. No había the, como, like, una cocina where to go get water. The bartender wasn't there yet. No, this was yes, in the morning. There was no, and it was hot as hell. Oh my so gosh. no había aguas, no había sodas. There was, anything. There was yes. no signal, nothing. We were in the middle of nowhere. Uh-huh. Oh, heck no. We were, we were like, yeah. going, like, super fast because we were trying to finish on time. There was no time to be like, oh, let me go buy you guys waters, right? But yeah. <laughs> no, it was okay. So we're getting the flowers done. <laughs> and then I was like, I need, I was like, Luis, I'm going to pass out. I need to sit down. And he was like, okay, well, if you want the party to start late, then you can sit down. <laughs> I was like, I'm about to pass out. I was like, oh, my my God. priority during setup is my clients. Like that same wedding, right? Mm-hmm. We were, um, we were, trying to take out the food as fast as possible because guys, when I tell you that I do the most, I do the most for my clients. I will. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> so that day, the, the cater, you know, it was, it was fine. Like they were taking a little bit longer than usual to like, it wasn't my cater, by the way, <laughs> it was somebody else, but the food was taking a little longer to be served. Right. Mm-hmm. So one of the photographer was like, Oh, can we eat? I was like, no, I was oh like, you gotta have to wait. Oh my god! You're gonna have to wait till I feed all my guests. <laughs> if I haven't ate since five in the morning, you could wait till. <laughs> oh my Simple god! That. And sometimes I I sound so messed up at that moment, but my priority is my client and their guests. Well, yeah, the like, guests haven't ate, I mean, and I get it. Like I get it, I get it, and they will, and they know? will they eat. Will. But you know, like just wait your turn. Just no, and I get it because like sometimes photographers in their contract it says like you know like um. I need to be fed. I need to be fed. And I get it, right? I'm I'm human too. Like us as the staff or like the planners, we're like literally in the back eating on top of a trash can. Like we don't care. But sometimes they do like, they give you attitude. They're like, hey, like, me comido. Like I'm hungry. Like the formalities are going to start and like I haven't ate. Like, well, I don't know. Like You're saying like you're going to get fed. You're still going to eat just like an hour. You're going to eat. If the guests haven't ate, like wait your turn. No. And then in this wedding, guys, let me make it clear. If you worked with me in the past, you know that I always feed you, right? The thing is, yeah. this wedding in particular, the food was taking a little too long to okay. come out. So for me to give you six plates that took fucking 30 minutes to be prepared, <laughs> it's a, a table that I could have finished, you know? Yeah. Because the guests, True. like, they're watching other people eat, and they want to eat too. And eso me desespera, like, them yeah. thinking that yeah. we're fucking up with the service. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like... The- the so it's like, I'm not going to have my table wait two more minutes just so you can eat. Yeah, imagine the guests looking at yeah. the workers. They're going to be like, wait, what? Like, we, we haven't ate. But yeah. everybody everybody has a different point of view. I know photographers are going to drag me thinking like, oh, yeah. You want, no, well, they're getting fed, period. Just get, get a sandwich. Just That's waiting it. like a few minutes. Yeah. You know? Like, you know, I used to, guys, <laughs> funny. You remember I used to be a photographer, right? Yeah. I started this. I started in this industry as a photographer. I used to take, I used to do weddings in Indiana too. Like, yo, like, me impact, iba, antes de like after church or the park. Pasaba a comprarme algo comer. Like, yo no dependía que me iban de comer en el salón. Okay, si me daban de comer, great. You know, like, good. 
But yeah. if not, like, I wasn't expecting it. I Simple mean, I've that. worked with you before, oh, yeah. and everybody eats, even the banda people at the end, they'll be Todos like, yeah, the food was so Todos good. Yeah. Like, yeah. the musicals will be like, the yeah. food was delicious. Yeah. But I feel like for the most part, most staff, like, they know to wait for the guests to eat first. Yeah, wait. pero, pero, oh, yeah. it's because everybody has, I mean, we could talk about this. Todavía. But you know, like, what does give me the egg, like, till this day, like, when you have a, a party, and it's obvious that, like, you know, the the people hosting the party still hasn't even seen, like, the pastries and stuff. And people already want to go in and, like, eat off yeah. of it. If, if you want my clients, you know that I always tell you, like, no traigan desserts. Don't bring anything that's going to be displayed. Because the people, guests, usually don't respect it. Uh-huh. Like, if let's say, for example, if the client has 200 guests... They're going to buy 200 pieces, but you're going to have that one tia that is going to think she's okay of getting 20 pieces for herself. Aunque no se los vaya a tragar, pero she grabs them and she puts them on her table. And like, you know, at the end girl. of the night, we end up throwing them away because los dejan enteros. Do it really is. the tias that fight for the, the centerpieces? No, that, honestly, guys, I, I don't see that anymore because I, wow. like, I feel like now the That's productions are so big, like the flowers are so big. They can't take them the home? To, they can't take them home. They can't. Bitch, the but centerpieces it, are massive. No, but if they want it? to, like they could take it like they're I, all breaking i don't pieces. mind it and then sometimes too like sometimes the vases are like they're rented and stuff they don't know no they don't i've never seen that wait do you agree that like the ones that complain the most about the party are the ones that didn't pay a dollar like it's like the Absolutely. fia like the random the yeah. my saw? biggest my biggest cringe at a wedding they're, or it, any type of event that i've done like especially at the at the ranch right llegan right and it's like oh you know, you know bienvenidos Estamos en, en, en cocktail de bienvenida, cocktail hour. Okay. Um, ¿Qué es eso? Oh, pues, you know, vamos a estar un ratito aquí arriba mientras um, toman fotografías o videos, mientras los novios bajan a ver la recepción. Mm-hmm. Okay. Pero es que yo vengo de Bakersfield. Yo manejé tres horas. Estoy cansada. <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, okay, okay. You, have you seen that TikTok? Like, oh, she knows the owner. Have you seen that TikTok? No. I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Like, oh. like somebody pulling up to the club. And then they say, like, oh, I know the owner. And they let her in and they give her a bottle and everything. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like me. ¿Qué quieres que te diga? Like, oh, la tía. Oh, pásela. Yeah. Que se siente. You know, like, like obviously, like, we're not going to. Like, the, the bride and groom are taking pictures. Exactly. Like, like, y la gente a veces se sienta. They and don't then, care. And then they don't care. They're like, no, no se pueden sentar. Oh, pues no me importa. Oh, my god. Así gosh. te dicen. No me importa. <laughs> no. Now, like, oh, disculpe. Es que van a tomar fotos. La, la, la novia me pidió que no se sentaran porque van a tomar fotos. But they don't care. They don't care, and they will never. They care. rather like stress out the bride and like yeah. having. Oh, done. they'll tell me like, "Be llamale." <gasps> oh my god! Oh, she's taking pictures. The <laughs> audacity! Can you call them? Or are you like, "No, I'm not gonna bother." No, yo no me llamo. I'll be like, "No, no puedo, pero se tiene que parar por favor." Digo, hay un sitting chart like la mesa nadie se la va a ganar. It's reserved for you. Like just oh, yeah. Es que ir a la gente gasta mucho dinero, Mayra. That's like, common mucho dinero, courtesy though. Like but, uh, fuck this weekend. If they're literally telling me like you can't sit here, they're they're taking pictures. Why would I think I'm gonna look cute in the fucking back, looking okay. like a fucking yeah. ogre just sitting there with my it purse? It's always like whenever like, there's issues with like a random tia, like the bride will always be apologizing for them. Like I'm so sorry. Like yeah, yeah. I, I, I honestly, I we always try to be super nice, even when the people are rude. Like be like, oh, es que desafortunadamente, you know, la novia sí lo pidió. Like, what can you do? Like, what can you really do? I remember do? one wedding because we used to like, you know, be meseras Jesus too. Jesus Christ! Outside of, bar, outside of bartending, it we would also be meseras. And you know, we used to carry those like rollers. What are they called? Like, you put, like the, the plates. plates. Well, that's when we started, Mara, because we had okay. okay that's guys, when we started. We started super humble. Like, empezamos yeah. without knowing anything. Uh-huh. Like, we didn't. Like, we didn't know how to like how to like. Wait, that wasn't a proper event. way to do it? No. I mean, I, I so, guess it okay, wasn't. Because, había carritos. Well, let no, let me tell you. Right, hay carritos, because we do use them. Los carritos los usamos para recoger basura. Okay. Like, para... Pero en el rancho ahorita no los usamos, because, like, you know, they... Yeah. They... Se mueven mucho. Pero los carritos... Usualmente son para, like, to bus. Oh, okay. Pero nosotros los usábamos para llevar platos because we used to make weddings, like, for 400, 500 yeah. people. Well, it's good yeah. you got rid of them because I remember literally just rolling up and, like, trying to serve table by table. Like, y'all, the plate's gonna come to you. No, oh bitch. Fucking hawk surrounded by it just yanking the plates. I was yeah. like, yo, like, why am I even I remember, serving like, for it? with a lady because, like, um, and this is when you were already using the charolas. We were like walking in, and this lady, like respectfully, this like thick woman, uh, <laughs> from one from one big bitch to another, she like came up and like started snatching my plates off my. Th- I literally was almost dropping off everything. your hair. 
I had the child order like this and she was like snatching them up. <laughs> like she had me mad because I was like, you literally are going to like risk mm-hmm. throwing these plates to the ground. Like, like the plates are coming uh-huh. to you. I don't know. She was a little impatient, but uh-huh. people That's are crazy. feral. Anyways, Jasmine. How, Anyways, how do you Jasmine, like working bring your water everybody? bottle. Like go random. Like, <laughs> who's, the, who's the hardest boss you've had out of the three of us? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Louise? Like, why? I mean, why I is he mean, the hardest one? It's chaotic. It's Explain. too much. It's too much. Like, I can't. Like, <laughs> And then it, I feel like for me, it's even worse because he could come at me because just because I'm his sister, like, he could say whatever the fuck he wants to me. Actually, <laughs> you don't even have it. shame. Wait, wait, say it again. I was texting and crying like, wait. <laughs> Like, I don't care. Nah. She said that, that you come for her the hardest. Like she's... who's like the, the hardest boss? Like like the toughest. <laughs> no, I'm I'm tough with everybody, but like in a good way. Like not like in a like <laughs> I could be I can't be really, scared, like, I could be really, really <laughs> like hard. But you know what I always tell them like like I'm yeah. your brother, right? Wait till you get to the real fucking world where they really <laughs> tell you how shit it is. I had a regular job one day. Y te decían, like, when you would fuck up, te decían, like, you fucked up. Oh, like, te decían en tu cara. They like, would make you cry they'll, first. Yeah, they'll make you feel like shit. I'm just, I'm just your brother. Ignore me. Like, I'm going to tell you because I'm going to be hard on you because I want you to get better. That's it. <laughs> like, you can't go through life fucking up and thinking it's okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> would you like, say it's the most stressful job? But she does help me a lot. It she is, does. I she think, does. I think but naturally, naturally, you guys work with me, too. Like, naturally, yes. Like, when it's you're way more when stressed, stressed out, you, you, you tend to, like, you know, go harder yeah. on your... They no, say but that I the people like, you're more comfortable no. with is the one that you're like, you know. Yeah. No, yeah, and that's bitch, that's exactly what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I felt that I probably felt more attacked because it was like, oh, like that's my brother. Like he's coming after me. That's probably why. But when I came back after picking up the stuff, <laughs> Legia con Starbucks. Yeah, he did. He did. Sauce. No, yeah, that is right. He does bring like, like Starbucks. Siempre, like why? Siempre like when we're driving back home, le pasamos a comprar algo comer. Like you know. No, yeah. In the moment, it's because you're always so stressed. He'll drive through the mud, but no, he'll, like, give you, he'll give you your treat no, later. We can, <laughs> we can get there on time, and we still, it's still bad. Like it's always stressful. It's, it's always it's stressful. Be stressful always. No matter what, chaotic. Yeah, like, you guys are doing yeah. events for hundreds of people. The hardest. Es que es que. Lo que más me estresa, that they cannot do nothing without me. Yeah. Like, well, if I leave. That. So I feel that. If yeah, I leave, I that. if I leave for an hour, I come back and it's like, hicieron nada. <laughs> <laughs> like, no hicieron nada. Or they thought they avanzar. But it's like, you guys put all the plates wrong. Now put them again. Oh like, my God. like that day of that, like that particular <laughs> wedding. Dressed with that wig. That day of that particular wedding, it's like, why are the forks on the wrong side? I get it. I'm dyslexic. I mean, I even now, twelve years later. Say, no, I am. I am. I I feel like I've been. I haven't been diagnosed, but I'm. I'm I think I am too. I, really? Like, yeah. Siempre, I have to like always look back at pictures. Siempre se me olvida like dónde va el tenedor el cuchillo. Okay. And even though I've been doing it for twelve years, anyways. Mm-hmm. Pero llego les digo, ¿por qué la copa del agua está arriba de la del de brindis? Like it's backwards. Yeah, okay. this is that. And it's like, it I've been around. telling you guys, like, so when you open it, they think they did something right. And it's like, no, no, no. Go back and fix all of them. <gasps> yeah. Oh, because shit. They're all wrong. Hundreds of them. Okay. Yeah. And that wedding Friends. was like 400 guests. Should I go? Uh, it's because okay. that wedding Jasmine's talking about was Karen and Eddie's wedding. It was hot as it fuck that so, day. No, and I knew the fork and the knife weren't the on the right way, but Mercedes told me. That, it was just so many guests. Oh it was gosh. hot. Can I ask a question? Uh huh. Okay, speaking, this was Karen and Eddie's wedding, right? Yeah. Do you feel the pressure? Absolutely. Because, I mean, let's be real. I, know I feel like this, yeah. influencers are constantly compared, especially with their events. I mean, to be specific, their weddings. Mm-hmm. There's always comparisons, like who's going to have the better wedding? Yeah. That's a lot of pressure to have because you're pressure. literally planning these weddings. Yeah, it's it's hard. Oh, my God. No, they had a beautiful wedding. That was, that was a really was nice wedding. Yeah, I didn't. No, casi no grabé because again, I can't. This is gonna bring another topic, pero casi no grabé because I was running up and down, right? Uh-huh. Like so busy. My priority will a hundred percent be my client. Yeah, I don't care about content. I don't care if it's gonna benefit me on TikTok. I don't care. I yeah. just at that moment is making sure that the wedding's fine, right? Yeah. Um, and that's where the other topic comes. Have you have you guys seen that TikTok of that makeup artist? I got kicked out of the wedding. We, we yeah, we actually talked about that. Here right, the talked about. I it. hate that. I hate vendors that they forget that they're there for a service, mm-hmm. and th- that they're not there for co- like you're not there for content. If you get content, good. If you don't, you're don't not force it on people. You're there for your service. Okay. 
Hey. And that's my priority. Someone, I was just telling you guys this earlier, like somebody asked me like, hey, Luis, how come you don't like post more content like on TikTok? And like, I'm like, I wish I had the time, mm -hmm. but my priority, I feel like it's never content. Yeah. Like I want you to hire me because you like my work, not because you found Period. a fucking random TikTok of mine. Like mm -hmm. I want you to know that I'm valuable. Like, oh, I want mm -hmm. him to do my wedding. Not because like, oh yeah, he did a cute TikTok. No. That's yeah. like, and I'm a, it's been 12 years already. Wow. I don't live off content or TikToks. I as fucked up as it sounds, like I don't. No, it's like, real. Yeah. My business is not TikTok. My my business is like real clients that just word of mouth. Mm -hmm. They talk great about yeah. me and me contratan. That's yeah. it. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not never there. Like like Karen and Ed's wedding, like it was such a big thing on TikTok. Like I could have juiced the shit out of it, and I didn't because I I really wanted them to have a good experience, have a beautiful wedding, and yeah. for them have, for their family to have a good time. I love that. That's it. Look important. I think that's why people keep hiring yeah. you because mm -hmm. you've never given like, I've never fat girl behavior. No. No, yeah, you've never no. like, yeah. like that. Because we've yeah, been to multiple events. Like my sometimes like no, like, you'll cringe like, like um, when Jasmine's um, friend Chris, he saw uh, a particular person like, at why? the event, and he's like, "Luis, can I take a picture with her?" I was like, "Absolutely not." Not under no. my watch. Nobody's no, we already know. Pictures. Like we, I every time like I see like an influencer like. I'm like always fangirling, but I'd be acting like I don't know them. So they just like be professional. <laughs> that like, is why? so funny. Well, I and you know what we what's crazy is like when a vendor like in our experience when a vendor comes up to me and asks me for a picture, I'm like super cool about it. I yeah. was about to say but, because we've gone to oh okay, go ahead like multiple events where you know some vendors will ask like for pictures and stuff. We've never minded it honestly. We haven't, but I could see like on a per, like being on that side trying to be professional. Can I tell you guys something yeah. cringy so that happened? I by the way, Karen and Eddie at. Uh, they, they were the sweetest, right? Like, when I started working with them, they were, ya estaban avanzados in their planning. They already had hired, like, their caterer, their vendors and stuff. They hired one vendor in particular that had charged them, right? Mm -hmm. Did give them a discount, but had charged them. And this discount obviously came with, like, you know, maybe promo, right? Whatever. Sometimes vendors, you guys have experience. They were like, hey, like, let me do your event, and I'll give you a discount. Mm -hmm. Just tag me. Type of thing, right? Mm -hmm. Anyways, um... That that wedding, I told every vendor, you guys are, uh, you guys are supposed to shop in black. We're all wearing black, because mm -hmm. all the guests are wearing black, so we can't stand out more than the guests, obviously. Yeah. So they all wear black. Um, nobody is allowed to take pictures of the guests. You can grab, you can get your content if you want, but nobody's allowed to post. So they post, you know the typical yeah, rules. Like you yeah. Can um, this vendor told me, oh no. The way that I work, I take pictures with all the influencers. <gasps> he said that? Yeah, this person said that. I was like, oh, no, not under my watch. If you had an agreement with the couple for promo, that's an agreement with them. To me, it's flabbergasting to think that you think the agreement involves every single guest in the party. I was like, no, you're you not. You said I take, it, I take pictures with every influencer? Yeah, she literally told me, I wish I could show you the message. She's like, I, the way that I work, I take pictures of my product with every single influencer of in the event. <laughs> oh. I was like, oh, I was like, no. So I contacted the client and I, you know, I told her and she's like, you know, what do you think, Lisa? I was like, no, I'd rather find another vendor that we're going to pay them full price. It's going to be more comfortable. And that's what we did. We told the girl, thank you so much for your service, but we no longer need it. No, mama. No, yeah, crazy. because like that's yeah. just So we, I found, I found a vendor and, and I worked too. Yeah. And that's I don't it. think like, uh, like I said, uh, we don't mind it at all, but I think it's be the, the fact that she expects it. Like, no, yeah. I'm going to make sure I like Girl. I get my content with every influencer. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the part that's kind of like weird. Guys, there's nothing wrong with working with a person for, for promo. I did it. I've done it. You know, regardless if Maya and Karina are, you know, in, in, in that platform, you know, like social media, like, but I never have never mm -hmm. like done it to a point to like, to be a cringy person like I, I never i know there's a there's like a like there's a line you can't you don't want to like cross boundaries where you're bugging no. them all night exactly like for example i remember i remember like recently like um i have those clients that are like my clients that were like friends mm -hmm. like i remember i did an event not long ago and, and laura was there laura Mayado, and i was like laura let's take a picture mm -hmm. random She's like oh my god yes i was like we've known each other for years and we've never taken a picture together Aww. And I remember we just took a picture together randomly, right? Yeah. Or like, but it's more like of a, like we're friends yeah. type of thing. Like, Definitely. like, oh, like we haven't never done it. Let's take a picture. Yeah. But así como to me to juice my clients for, for content. No, people might see it like that because they think like, oh, Luis trabaja with, you know, a lot of influencers. And yes, 
But at the end of the day, like, they're literally just my clients. Yeah. They're literally just my clients. I'm just so blessed, you know, that, you know, they bring me a lot of clients. Like, you know, they tag me all the time, even though, believe it or not, like, all my clients that are influencers and celebrities, they pay me. Mm -hmm. Like, I haven't done a free gig in years. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, it was obviously, you know, like, you know, but you have to pay your bills. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't change the fact that, of course, I've had vendors in the past that have work for me for free too mm -hmm. like we've all worked together and collaborated for an event mm -hmm. you know to like yeah, hey, like it. hey guys like let's all get together and give them this event or give them the service for free so you know yeah. we can get promotion but yeah. you know and now the blue moon you know it's never yes, expected. i've had so many vendors that have helped me in the past and even now sometimes vendors tell me like because they believe in me you know what i mean it's just i get what you mean yeah. i mean me and karina's brad's party a few years back it was like that too, you know. We all kind of benefited off each other. But I'm in. I'm in a flats. point now. I'm in a point now. You don't expect it for every event. Yeah, I'm in a point now that I've, um, I try to. Um, if I'm gonna win, I want my vendors to win. Like, mm -hmm. like if you si a cobrar, todo vamos a cobrar. Yeah. You know, like we're way, we're way past it. Like, you know, sometimes we still do it. You know, like sometimes we we offer discount here and there. But at the end of the day, like you know, we all have. I only yeah. yeah. I, I mean I I definitely do do think it's cringy when I when influencers expect it for free. Yeah. Cause I do feel like the influencer world, you know, I, I you know, I gotta admit, I feel like we are like spoiled. And I, I feel like sometimes influencers expect it, which it's so cringy because it's like you're supporting these small businesses, but you're they're literally taking their time their day and you know whatever services they provide for you like what are they winning from that yeah like, you got the you money know what i mean pay them, yeah sometimes vendors just want to they, they do want to do it like they out of like their yeah. heart like they want to do it but i get that too but anyways i haven't had a bad experience i yeah. like yet yeah, no of course we all have some that obviously we will take to the grave but mm -hmm. like but you know Please. you just i'm that type of person like no matter like if you fuck me Fuck me over. I'm not gonna tell anybody. Okay, period. Like that's if you fuck me over. Queen. If it, if you fuck me over was because me dejé de pendejo, so nobody should know. Okay. You know type of thing. So si alguien no me ha pagado o algo así, me like I'm gonna take it to the grave. I would never like my ego is to too high them. to say this shit. And yeah, <laughs> I would never do anything to harm somebody because at the end of the day, whose mistake was it? Mine. Okay. You know you can't. I get you. Pero pero other than that, like I've had. Mo mostly amazing experiences yeah. but yeah ahorita no ahorita things are different now yeah okay so he was your most difficult who would you say after two hours of talking <laughs> <laughs> after a three hour podcast i'm just kidding uh who's your who's been your easiest boss um you like why <laughs> very, I mean, you are both very. really easy but yours was easy because like i think it was just like it was just the three yeah. of us yeah it was, what was so easy. Chill. What was like easy about it? Like, what, um, like, what's so chill about it? Uh -huh. I think just like putting the stickers and then just like <laughs> that's what she it was, was like, put the wow. stickers. That's candles, why it was so like, easy. I don't know. Yeah, that's why it was like, easy. Maybe this is something I liked. It was like candles. So and I think it, it was we more vibe, chill. Though, doing it was like it. a chill vibe. Yeah. yeah. And the slime shop. I mean, we we always talk about it too because like of the meaning. It's so you like you almost do it with like it's the vibes are just there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, but is that all you did? Just put the labels. Um. <laughs> well, now I know that why it was so easy for you, girl. It was the like the candlesticks or oh, the, yeah, the, can wicks. the the wicks, and that the was wicks. it. And yeah, at the, I, at I feel like making candles in general is definitely very therapeutic. I don't see how it could be like. Extremely but she don't make candles, right? Like, not the formula, no. Because even no. at the slime shop, I don't think I've ever had to make <laughs> slime, huh? Uh. uh no, like a bitch. No, or like, like I, I wouldn't know. Oh, you would bought like the box, box the packaging and stuff, like the orders. Yeah, like orders, like that chill. Yeah, but yeah. How do you feel like it's like working at the warehouse? Like whenever you. Have, oh well, she's she's done a few different things with me. She's worked at the warehouse before, and she's also done like assistant stuff. So like, what's easier? Like, well, the assistant. I stuff. I think that assistant not. stuff is easier. I just realized that I'm. Wearing a costume, cringe like. Wait, you just I just realized. Like, you know, like, wait, I can't. Now I'm trying to talk all professional about my business, and then like looking like a clown. <laughs> like, I can't why? Do looking like a four hundred poundy clown. Like, why? Like four hundred poundy is crazy. It's giving Joker. You know, anyway. It's giving obesity. That's what it's giving. 
Guys, isn't this supposed to be like about Halloween or where we're talking about work? <laughs> You're like, shit, I can't even clock out. Uh. Dead ass. Wait, I have a question for you guys. I want to see if y'all are real fans. <laughs> I can't take you serious with that way. <laughs> I know. I can't every time I look over. I'm like, come on, then I'm Pato. Okay, I'm Pato 1985. She gained a couple pounds. Imagine, like, girl. I literally, I just don't understand. What My mom had her hair like that for a long I time. I don't get it. I, and I mean, when she saw you, she was cringing. I was like, I know you're kidding me. Oh, my girl. All the pictures. I know you're kidding. You are I, have, I have, I have my receipts. <laughs> I know you fucking lying. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's what I was going to ask. Do y'all watch Skinny Tober? <laughs> I've never watched it. Oh, no. oh bitch! My bitch. <laughs> what? You've, hold never, on. you've never watched a Skinny Tober episode. Have you watched? I've Shades watched and like Giggles? once or t- like No Los Veo. You fucking you are fake bitch. missing out. I'm too busy making money. Nothing else. Uh, wait a damn! Wait, those those long rides to LA. You could be tuning into our podcast. I don't know. Do you <laughs> watch like, any podcast? I don't know. You're I joking. Don't. I, I don't. love. Um, I've watched like, like a couple of them. Maybe like of all the seasons, maybe like three episodes. Three Wait. episodes out of a hundred something. <laughs> I don't even know at this point where we're I at. Don't. It's crazy. You haven't I don't. watched any of the Halloween ones, Weez? I remember when you guys first started doing YouTube, like back back in the day. I used <laughs> oh, to yeah, like yeah. Religi- reli- religiously, religiously watch them and like, and you know, like fight those bitches in the comments. You know? <laughs> yeah. You would always be talking shit back. I'm like, Luis, you need a chat. Yeah, I remember at some point you guys guys, say you know, you it. I used to fuck like I'm that person because I remember even trying to like defend other people that weren't even like you guys. What? Like, I don't know. Like, 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 other like if I was watching like another YouTuber and like somebody oh, was talking were... shit about them, I would defend them. Okay, like, I, that's some queen shit. Yeah. I love when people just like start talking defend, shit back yeah. to the haters. Anyways, but oh yeah, I don't, I don't watch. That, that is much, no. wait. You never watch an episode of Skinny Toad because they're they're funny. No, you, the last oh episode was gosh. hilarious. I think you would actually cackle. It's because guys, it's different. Like, cause I know you guys. Like no, that. I know. No. Like, you know that when you guys all hang out. Like, let's be for real. Like, when you guys all hang out to me, when like you and your friends hang out, it irritates me. I can't hang out with you guys. Please. So me watching you guys like on on video, I can't do it. He literally cannot stand us. I can't. He wrenches at your guys' friend group, huh? Guys, like, we've, we've, we've been other. out in restaurants like eating like like my and Karina and their friends, and like I can't do it. Like, I can't. <laughs> You're a hater. I you are can't. a hater. What is it? What What about us? Can you stand? I can't. I okay, can't. so you are that person at a restaurant judging someone for having no, a no, good time. No, I Imagine. somebody else. I can't judge. I don't judge them, but I feel like you me la vergüenza. You're embarrassed to be around. Us? No, not like that. <laughs> but like, when you guys hang out, you guys are really like loud, loud and obnoxious. I like, love it. You guys forget like there's people around you guys. I know. Oh my gosh! But that's how you do it though. Like I feel like you're not like but I'm you're not, not like living that. life if you're not like I not giving like, a fuck. I feel like, like I'm not laughing. But me, loud. me, 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 like giving good impression. Like that's me living my life. Wait, I feel you like that's care more? <laughs> okay, you you're such a people pleaser. That's literally like. Luis code right there. I <laughs> love your friends. You know, we've had our differences and all. Like, you know, I, I, I'll hang out with them and everything. <laughs> pero I can't. We're no too puedo. much for you. It's too much. You guys, I, maybe I'm like, I'm in, in my amargado era. <laughs> I think you're in your death. <laughs> you know, I'm your amargado era. Like, you know, my only focus is like work <laughs> and like people talking about like, I no, can't. that's crazy because I feel like people that know you personally know how unhinged you are. I used to be like that. You, you are. are definitely changing something. Yeah. I don't know if it was a frontal lobe developing, but you were unhinged as. I'm like before. maybe living my midlife crisis. <laughs> you are definitely. I hate happy people. No, guys, Louis guys. I, I've seen TikToks of people talking about like like people happy people being cringy. Like I you hate those people, people that yeah, are too happy. Mean, it's like yeah. I know you're miserable I in there. Mean. Stop faking it. Stop. Okay. You can live life a little. Honey. I know. I can live like my living life is way different from like being Wait, out at a restaurant. What's a typical like happy day for you then? Like, like look. What's my too friends, happy for my you? My friends are my clients, right? Okay. But literally, work, work, <laughs> work makes me happy. As I mean, cringe queer, as it as sounds, you should. work makes me happy. Going out and like doing like work makes me happy, like. My happy time is being home, watching TV, going to the movie theater. So would you say you're not antisocial, though? No, 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 no. I'm super you social. Are a social butterfly. So mm-hmm. I'm so confused. I just can't. I don't know. I'm what is overly happy to you? 
bitch. I'm really like, happy. Like something that you're like, all right, you're doing too much. Like, I don't know. Like, wait, know. are we really too much? No, I no. Okay, the together, right thing too much. together we're too much. Individually, are we still that crazy that you're like cringing? Bitch, the fact no, that you have to think about no, this is crazy. No, no, no. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, we are together. Let me tell you, for some reason, like I have more conversations with Jasmine. How huh, Jasmine? Uh-huh. Like I, I like to sit down and have like like good conversations. Deep conversation. I like a healthy conversation. We say so obnoxious. I don't you understand. Are so obnoxious. I don't so know where obnoxious. this act is coming from. I know. Mean, <laughs> you are you're a Margado era. That's what it is because, it because not, it's not adding up because to me. We drunk is like off the okay. rails. Unhinged. Unhinged. Like if you guys saw like his personality, it's like you could be right, a comedian. Out, mm-hmm. This is what I think because I I'm like him too. Like I I I'm a fucking hating ass bitch, but I, <laughs> what? but like but like when I'm with my friends, I do the same shit, and yes, I don't do. I don't like you. You know, I'm not cringing. Wait, but you but cringe at us. You Jasmine? and your friends are so obnoxious. Yeah, when you guys hang out. Like I could cringe at you guys for being Jasmine, loud I've queens, heard but you guys. I am loud too. So yes. uh, maybe that's what it is. Yeah. I've heard yeah. you and your friends when you, when they come over. You guys are so fucking loud and annoying. So I get it. Like I'm cringing at you guys being teenagers and being annoying. Yeah. But I'm just staying with my friends. Yeah, except, except 30. We're 30. <laughs> and I'm just your old ass. Like, right. why? Well, now, when you say 30, baby, it all makes sense. Imagine. <laughs> yeah, like, come on. 30 and I'm not there. Imagine. That, I think maybe that's what it is. So, like, the older you get, the less fun you become. I'm so confused. Absolutely not. I don't know. Bienvenida al grupo de los amargados. <laughs> Yo, that's You know why you're kind of putting your character a little bit? Isn't Beetlejuice like really like amargado vibes? Is he oh, really? I think okay, so. Miss. No, Luis, that's not you though, because I feel like even your own clients would be like, "No, Luis is funny and like very hype vibes." No, your but clients don't even know that obnoxious side of you. Though. I don't even they think don't. They, they actually know they do. Luis, no, there is a side of Luis that is so unhinged that like what, only what's his unhinged? clothes. What does clothes, that mean? Unhinged is just off like the walls, like off obnoxious. the your rocker, bitch. Like <laughs> yeah, like, I am. I'm really like me falta torneo. Out of pocket comments and all out of, of it. Pocket out of pocket as fuck. Yeah, out of pocket but hilarious. <laughs> like. Es que Definitely. Es que la gente, yo, I'm, I know you that love I'm some perfect. cheese man talking about. Oh, I had like, a real conversation. I had a real conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the cheese man. Like, I'm looking at you like this ain't the same dude right now. Here. <laughs> this ain't the no. same dude from an hour ago. Like, <laughs> bro, like, es que no, 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 no. Yo, it's it's our right. act. It's it's not, not, look, everybody likes a good cheese man. Oh, you no, love. I know damn right you're not saying that no, right now. Yo no tengo amistades así de mucho tiempo. Right? Yeah, which is nice. Which is nice to know, like you guys have friends a that, have, well, that well, you guys Smith. have kept like for yeah, so long. Oh my right? yeah. she actually became our friend too. Yeah, but that's someone you've known for like years. But I don't keep like yo. I don't keep in touch with nobody. Okay, like mm-hmm. I don't like like let's go grab dinner no. or yeah. let's hang no. out. Yeah, you know what it is, Mara. I feel like I'm I'm at an age where I've lived and seen everything. I'm so used to people taking advantage of me and no 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 like like no me vas a hacer. have your guards up. I have I have a big like I could like me puedo llevar contigo eso but I'm not gonna bring you to my privacy Whoa. type of thing okay I I believe in that like for example kind of for example welcome anyone into your home yeah. I believe that I've only had people in my house like for the holidays así pero but you guys obviously you guys are my sister you guys can come whenever yeah, you guys want it's still but family. I see gente that are just acquaintances they will not be in my living room. I, no, I get that. Oh, I feel that. No, that's. I feel like that's what. I think that's what it is. I think that's what it. I'm like so like. Uh, it might es que even with the business, I feel like a gente a veces te usa y te aprovecha yeah. de ti. That I'm so over it. Like me and Marcia have had this conversation. Like that we're just so tired I of think like. You're uh, so we're tired like, of it. Like that's like, too much. Oh. Like I hate when they approach me. Like Mara, watch, watch. It's gonna make sense. So how's the business going? How's everything going? Mm-hmm. Like oh, like it's fine. I'm fine too. Like type of thing, right? Yeah, and then they throw in the question. Yeah, like, yeah, like, oh yes, no tienes unos materiales que me prestes? Oh. Or like, you know, tienes esto? Like, that type of okay. thing. Okay. Like, nunca. That it, has to be I've never had it. Like, even with, my, even with my staff too, like, you know, I feel like I have more friends. Like, me llevo mucho más bien with my staff because we actually talk about life. Like, yeah. oh, Don Luis, ¿cómo está? Like, ¿cómo le fue hoy? Like, like, I feel like sometimes they care more about you than like your friends, you know? Yeah. Maybe that's what it is. Okay. There's also people that are different, like where they don't need to depend on friends. Like I, I, I genuinely like I've always felt this. I feel like a big part of my life, like I am a friends person. Mm-hmm. 
I'm not I a friend need person. Fr- I need friends. I'm a family to, like, person. I feel I like friends we have to, to get make together my, every week. Feel my life. I no. need friends. Yes, family yeah, como, too. But I need friends. Como like me, like my my to feel like my 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 okay. life I, is my family as. You know, yeah. aunque no nos I veamos seguido, but like, oh, like, you know, something like, oh, I'm breaking my mom. And stuff, yeah. 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 Cine, yeah. Así. Yeah. Así que tú digas, like, oh, like, we're going we're gonna to go to the bar. We're gonna... yeah, I feel like if you met feel... the right friends, you would be like, wow, life is so beautiful when you surround yourself with people like yourself. Yes. Like, not to be <laughs> cheesy. <laughs> he's cringing. He's cringing right now. Right now. <laughs> cringing because that's not reality. Yes, hasta ahorita, you need people hasta ahorita, you. Mayra, hasta There's ahorita, people that become your family. Hasta ahorita, yes. I have not met somebody like that. Así que, like, fuck. Because you haven't allowed it. I'm a, I'm a people pleaser, right? And you know what bothers me? Like, when it doesn't come back. Mm-hmm. Y es un defecto because we all have different ways of showing love. Did you guys tell me that love once? Love language. Love language. My love language is giving. That's how so, I like, know. sometimes, like... And others, yeah. love language might not be giving. Exactly. It might be quality time. Yeah. It might words be... Words of affection. Words of affirmation. But those oh, are not go. yours, so you're not seeing it in return. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I, so I feel like it's un defecto, pero pues we're not, nobody's perfect. I yeah. feel like Jasmine is a very big, like, amiguera, too. Yeah. You love her yeah. friends, huh? I you know, know, Jasmine, I feel like out of all my siblings, we're the one that, like... No, because I think I can see both sides. Like, I can see how you how you think, like... I think that, yeah, I, I get it. To each their own, and if you're thriving... To each their own. That's all that matters. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, as long as, like, she's on her people boss are trip. happy, and they're happy, mm-hmm. and, like, where they're at, like, yeah. if it's with friends. Because it's true, there's a lot of people that have... And I see this a lot with, again, with the weddings. Like, sometimes, like, they tell me, like, I don't even have family, but most of my guests are just friends, right? Mm-hmm. So... If, like, whatever makes you happy. Hay gente que no habla ni con sus papás. There's people that don't That's talk to their crazy. parents, right? And for us, it's so hard to understand it, even though we all have our differences, but, like, we would never do that. Yeah. You know, there's people that for them, that's normal. But whatever flows through boat. Yeah. That's true. It's you know? like, whatever you know what's so funny? Happy. I think the question was, like, about spooky, something spooky, right? How did we get to this topic? Oh, yeah, you said you were going to tell us a scary story, I think. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> even though, like, I live in a really old house, because... That was my biggest scare. Oh, that's right. How old is your house? My house in six years will be 100 years old. Whoa. So my house was built in 1930. It's like, it's like called a Victorian home, right? No, it's, it, I, don't I don't know. know. It's not Victorian. I used to think it was Victorian, but oh. well, that's my dream. My dream is to own a Victorian home. Like, that's 1800s. Wait, like, is your something house haunted? Like, uh, my house is not haunted. Till now, I'm again, you know how I, you guys have known this since I was little. You feel vibes. I feel vibes. I feel energy. I have known when you're fake, when you're not. I'm psychic. (laughs) I'm a psychic. No. Like, guys, guys. That. And, and like, and, and like, some real shit. Like, this, this that my sisters are living and that we're living, I saw it when I was little. That's why. And what? The podcast. I'm just kidding. No. No. Guys, let me tell you. Let me tell you. (laughs) You know how we all have, like, I don't know. Maybe I was like, a Would weird, you call it manifesting? Maybe, maybe I was a weird kid manifesting shit. I remember <laughs> you, you once. definitely said some shit out loud that will happen in real life. Yeah. And it yes. happens right away like, after. Like, I told Karina, like, you're going to be on Ellen. And she was oh on gosh, Ellen. Yes. He told me, like, literally months before, like, you're going on Ellen. I was like, okay, bullshit. Yeah. yeah. I'm not kidding. And then one day I was like, guys, we're going to have, so confident guys, we're gonna have a reality show. And we had it. It was whack as fuck, but we had it. Really? It was not whack as fuck, actually. It was, it was it was crazy, yeah. But we were just actually looking at the the first episode has over a million views. I oh, only I, saw two episodes. I was watching it the other day. I can't watch it. I can't. Like, I people, cringe I can't. so hard. It, too. Let's, I, let's I not talk about that spooky there. time of our lives. Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> that's that spooky. No, that's spooky. The fucking four. No, you do one. say some shit sometimes <laughs> that happens in real life. Like, no, I remember being pregnant one time, and he came over to my apartment in LA, and he was like, "You're pregnant." I was like. I'm not fucking pregnant. Like, I was like, why the fuck would you say that shit? <laughs> Literally, like, two days later, I was like, let me just see if this means anything. Because I know how Luis is fucking, like, yeah. speaks some shit sometimes. Yeah. I test positive two days later. That's crazy. I swear on my life. I, I, I was like, oh, my <laughs> God. This fool's fucking I like I have it. that gift, too, because the I same thing happened. I hate when he has a bad feeling about oh, something. Because I'm like, hey, when you have a bad feeling. Yeah. I hate that. 
I feel like I have that gift too, low key. I okay, okay. Uh, y'all all are like, no, no, y'all know this too. I've been no, telling you too. Yeah. I hate when everybody's no, like, I'm you psychic. know this. That day Sorry. too, Karina, that I told you, I'm like, I think you're pregnant, and you're like, I just tested negative, and then okay. you tested positive. No, I do believe you guys. Yeah. I really do believe that y'all like, you know, feel some shit. But do you guys have a cringe when like some random bitch is like, I'm psychic, and I'm like, oh, okay, and, like for yeah. any little, any like, little girl, thing, like I was like, okay, yeah. all right. But it's not like it's weird because do you feel like they happen like as thoughts to just random thoughts? No. Uh, where I was going early, with where, where my thought was going earlier, like I remember, in, I remember, like I was like in elementary school. I remember just telling a friend, like, oh yeah, like my sisters are famous. Remember I tell you guys, bitch, not as like, often. Like, Karina, like at nobody. Home, like, I literally remember. Okay, I need to tell the story. I remember telling somebody like my sisters are famous, Bye. and this was like us being kids, us Wait, being kids, like like nada none que of ver. this, nada que ver. I literally Aww. remember Myra we used to do freelance makeup. Uh huh. That we went to go to somebody's and makeup. you know, I'm a fucking asshole, but I'm the biggest hype person. Oh, yeah. You are, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, that's In a true. nice way, not like period girl. Same. You're like, why? Well, yeah, you that. won't be like period at galactic queen. You won't say all that, but like you will <laughs> say. Galactic <laughs> queen is crazy. Because he makes fun of us. He'll be like period galactic icon and all this shit. Like, I'm like, we've never said the word galactic, but that's actually iconic. Uh, I'm not as starting to say it. Like no, that. but I remember one time Myra was doing freelance makeup because y'all know she used to do that. And for some reason, me, Myra, and we were both there. We were all there with you doing mm-hmm. the makeup. And he was literally telling, like, this family that Myra was doing their makeup. He was telling them that we were influencers and that we go to New York all the time and shit. <gasps> and I literally... What? Wait, what? Wait, wait. wait. Nah. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I literally... And this is like, I think like Mara had just started YouTube, right? And it's just funny. Okay, Wait, it's just so funny because I remember like, I was like, I've never been to New York. Like, and like literally like within the next few months, we're in New York for beauty con and all this shit. Like, I'm not even kidding. Nah, that's great. I'm going to need you to it's start just, speaking for me again. Oh my God. It's just funny because he would like hype us up before we were like, did anything at all. I mean, we were doing, I mean, I feel like he was, for like, a long time, it up and I used to hilarious. dream for people. Like I used to dream like, uh-huh. and try to help them succeed their dreams yeah and i would forget about me and my Aww. dreams and the moment okay. that i started believing in myself oh okay, that's geez. when boom elegance events blew up Aww. right oh my God. because all that energy i was putting it in myself and not in other people can't. right anyways but yeah i used i have i dream for people like i have goals for them like i see their potential and i'm like you could do this 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 and that mm-hmm. but you know not everybody does it and that's why i was so hard with Maya and karina because <laughs> like with Myra yeah, being the real. first one in the family to like start social media, I used to be so hard on her. Like, I don't feel yes. like you ever. You have to do this. You have to do that. Media. You have to do this. You have to do that. And she used to hate me for it. But like, somebody had to tell her. Mm-hmm. Even now, I tell her like, "Hey, you're fucking up here. Like, you need to do this." Yeah. Now I honest. know that it bothers her. I'm like, "Well, okay, queen. Like, you do your thing. You know, <laughs> if you want to post once like a year, I, I feel like off. I have like I can't take criticism when it's being like." When I'm feeling like completely attacked, <laughs> and with like, Karina too, like with Karina when she was like in her in her peak of like slime queen, I used to help her bedazzle her jacket, her shoes. Mm-hmm. Like I I try to like help her with her image a little bit more, you know, uh-huh. because like you know, like we weren't we were so new to this. Yeah, we come from very humble beginnings. Like we had no idea the show business. Like we knew it was a thing, like not show business, but you know what I mean, yeah, right? Like yeah. like like what's the vision for Jasmine Glitz? Crickets are going. <laughs> no, stop! Crickets. Is no, crazy. I have, I have. You're like she's gonna work for me forever. <laughs> That's gonna, the vision. You better take your water bottle, bitch. No, mm-hmm. um, I've told her like Jasmine has such a big personality, right? Yeah, if she this, has so much personality. It's unfortunate that she hides it behind this like the no, song. and uh, and, and the the whole influencer. I hate, but first I hate the word influencer. So cringy. Yeah, like when people say like, I'm an influencer, like. <laughs> Cringe, like you should no. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, um, the I I think obviously this is this world is not for everybody, right? Uh-huh. And Jasmine um, grew up in it because you know when Jasmine was like little, that's when Karina blew up, right? Mm-hmm. And a lot of it came with bullying and like people, mm-hmm. you know, maybe like mm-hmm. you know judging her for being Karina or she's sister. Probably, she probably <laughs> cringed being my sister. Exactly, even my though. Girl. Even though that for the family it was it was a blessing made for her was a fucking curse. Maybe for her it because was like for oh, her, the slime girls my for sister. Her, for her coming on for her like so naturally coming on your videos, not realizing that the whole world was watching them and going yeah. to school and taking all that because you know the kid little kids are fucking haters. Mm-hmm. If they were talking shit to you, what because Oh they were my hating. gosh, I have to tell you guys, I'm never gonna forget this fucking guy. Oh. But um 
he was like so like it was so weird i remember middle school like they would play videos like literally videos i think i was in them too and they would just like laugh Okay, oh, yes, yes, like, yes that's what I mean. Jasmine told me that she wants to be a um, interior designer. Decorator. Interior designer? I want to do interior decorating. You could start here, baby. I think, because I think design is like when you like are like looking at like the structure of like. Oh, like I see what room. I mean. Yeah, but I want to decorate Oh my room. gosh, I didn't know you, you have, have that in you. I, I have it. I, me too. I, yeah, I, I'm not, yeah. Do you have like a style? Um... I do look at specific styles, but I know I do have to be open to like all, What's your all styles. styles. I, I love like that. like the like funky like yeah. decor, like funky stuff, like yeah. funky like you know like like. But if you were to like be funky, hired like decor, like, to I don't decorating, know. It, you'd be like open minded for their style yeah. And put well, together. I think that you have to be like. No, if you're, but from my experience, her clients are gonna like her style. Oh, okay, I get what yeah. you mean. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Like, so when cool. you're an interior designer, interior decorator. Or other, like, they're going to hire you. Like, a photographer, you're going to hire them because they're That's so yeah. funny because, yeah. like, I feel like literally we're all the same. Because when you're talking about, like, decorating, I walk into a home and I will literally, like, put things in my head how I would decorate the house. Yeah. I think that's probably why I want to do it because I'm like, I wish you would just do this. Yeah. Like, I like, always girl, do that. Like, I why really are you missing your coffee table? Uh, I think all three of you guys are really good at de- decorating. I, I, I yeah, don't have the eye for that shit. so I funny. Don't. I feel like I, I, I will look at people's house. <laughs> And Guys, see what how I would change I, it. Not uh, not me hyping each other, but like I feel like we are a very creative family. Yeah, my parents like, are creative too. My dad's creative. Yeah. My mom's really creative too. We are creative. Everybody's creative. Crazy. Like a lot of people don't even know that. Like, um, like they do know that we're related to you because if you're tuning in and you've never heard of Luis, he's at Legacy Events. He does weddings for a living. Does quinceañeras, just events, all kinds of stuff. Um, and I I feel like sometimes people will be like, oh shit, they're related, like. Yeah, like that's I feel like brother. everybody like if you actually really like think about it like we all have like our different like talents. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like standalone talents are like don't even connect with each other like way the opposite. Mm-hmm. It's just crazy. You should go to school. I do want to do that, but I also do want to do um what is it called cosmetology? So that too. I really want to because I've always been good at doing hair. I've that's always been my thing. When well, I was you know like, what, younger. Jasmine, a lot of people like that like thrive in that business like don't even need the school <laughs> no i know i could do it but i, I like do the most talented people in that like they just yeah. have it like they yeah. You know? yeah i think i just want to go just so i could see it as I, a hobby i believe that talent is not taught like that is something you have yeah. and then it, it comes with experience too yeah myra like she was freelancing when she was like she was, was like little. 15 freelancing she was like freelancing and like i would hype her up like i, I was bought her first makeup you bought me my first makeup um, I searched up like what makeup mm. like makeup artists use. Yeah, and, like it was some like we were literally just talking about earlier like some random like it was Graptobian like, foundation like like the like, best like makeup for like for TV and that's what I remember bought. Remember you bought me the 120 Aww. palette. Uh huh. So, remember the famous 120 palette. Yeah, I palette? bought her first kit too, like the one oh that you were yeah. open. What was your oh. reaction? Were you like, oh my gosh, like? I mean, he was a hype man because for sure. I know you, there's that's a what big... it was. I feel like I feel like I saw that talent in her. I was like, okay, do it. Right? Yeah, yeah, and then he would make me do his brides, like the wedding. Aww. So I would do the hair and makeup. Well, me and Maya used to be closer. Me and Karina were okay. rivals. Okay, huh? <laughs> <Rivals. laughs> you guys were talking about Karina how... dislocated my neck once. Wait, when I mean, you guys Bye. were talking about... Talk about spooky. Bye. 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 You guys were talking about... You, you said you were going to tell a scary story, and then you said your house was 100 years old, and then you completely like... <laughs> no, my, no, that's where I was going. It's funny, Jasmine, because when he was saying that y'all are besties, I was like, wait... I felt like I was like that growing up with Luis too. Yeah. And then, you know when I feel like we kind of drifted? When I had a boyfriend, when me and Brian started dating. I was too in That's love. Fine. Just, it's gonna, it's gonna happen though? the same too because Jasmine eventually is gonna that have that her attention for her boyfriend. Have like, a why? serious relationship is the same thing's gonna happen. Yeah. All that, oh. all like. Oh. I remember when we got married, Jasmine like cried her eyes out. Like, oh. Oh. No, I don't know. You did. She no, was like, it's because Jasmine. Just, like, I got crying with her. Like, it's okay. I'm always going to be your big brother. No. Like, Jasmine and David were like my kids. I look at Disneyland. The first kid time. syndrome, bitch, is real. Yeah. Literally. Oh, the what? Real. The, the first, first kid syndrome. syndrome. The first kid syndrome, where like when you're the first child, like the oldest child syndrome. Yeah. That like you're like literally raising your siblings. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, guys, guys. Well, obviously. 
this episode wasn't Did as spooky. Did we talk about how you got Jasmine into Abby Lee Miller's studio? Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, what so kind of scam birthday? was that? But we did it. Jasmine, for your birthday, I posted a picture like saying happy birthday and you were with Abby Lee. And people were like freaking out. Yeah. They're like, wait, wait a story time. Louise, how the fuck oh, did you goodness. get her into Abby Lee Miller's studio? I used to studio? drive hasta, what, was it West, West Hollywood? Hollywood? It was West Hollywood. How did Every you I remember, days. guys. It was That's like prime. Crazy. It was and 2017 then, when everything was like iconic musically was on and pop. Thing. I remember, like, I loved it. Was it. expensive it was so too, fun. and I would figure it out. I would take her. How did you find? Like, how did you even get? I don't her even in? know. I remember exactly how I got into. Like, he was all lying. She is a celebrity. Oh, like, okay. no, <laughs> no, no, no. Abby Lee opened a, a studio in LA. In LA, and it was really expensive. Like, really, like, like yeah. fucking expensive. Man. Well, uh, was um, that other was girl? It, like, who, who was there? Uh, she took her daughter. I mean, remember what was? Yeah. Name? um Heidi Klum, Heidi Klum. Heidi Klum. She was. She would literally Klum? sit next to us with her daughter. Like, Heidi like Heidi Klum would take her daughter. There, yeah, remember? And she, would, we would be sitting with her. There was literally celebrities that would take their kids to the class, and like, pero, it, it's because it was really it's expensive. How much was it? It was a lot. Creo que pagaban like over a thousand dollars a month. <gasps> really, bro? I never knew like about yeah. that. Each week it, was at wow. least like three hundred bucks. It was expensive, yeah. Was expensive. And this is how I knew. And luego le compraba sus like the, those uniforms. Oh yeah. They were like three hundred dollars. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I was living. Yeah. I remember I'd wear my like. No, and I used school. to. And she wanted me. She 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 wanted Savannah to go so bad. I would take Savannah to. I would yeah. For Savannah's class. Savannah wow. would go with Anna, me. if you were there on a good day, they would be filming the reality show, huh? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I and remember. she got to meet all the girls there, like the NBA's. I remember I had a private, a ballet private, and they were filming right next door, and the moms were passing by. Remember Melissa said something about your shirt or something? I don't know. She, like, complimented you, and I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, they're right next door filming. You, yeah. I remember I could see they're, like, them standing. Like, yeah. with yeah. The, the thing yeah. is, the thing is, like, Jasmine, like, oh when she was little, she was like, oh, I want to dance. So I was like... You know, go big or go home. That. So yeah. what did I think? I'm gonna take you to Abilene. Yeah. Like, don't tell Luis your dreams, cause that motherfucker is gonna like get like everything. Them, like, and be like, okay, let's do it. Yeah. yeah. That is so funny. She yeah. like offered everything. Like I remember her. Like she would offer acting classes at her studio and everything. Like she was on some professional shit. You know, we stopped going because it was far. It was, it like, was so far. And then like right after that, like it like it how stopped. was Abby Lee yeah. Jasmine? Was she nice or was she mean? She, well, like you couldn't really speak to her. She was just like in there because she was like like she was just like getting her bag. Her she, literally, she was like busy. Like she wasn't talking to anyone. She was just in there for like her own reasons. I don't know, but for the show, imagine. Like, <laughs> but like she was just <laughs> the like, coin. You no, never, she was you nice. Never, she was, yeah, she, she was, was mean. She was just there, like working. Like, yeah. but I don't think anyone really talked to her. But you guys you know? would talk more like to her teachers, huh? Yeah, she was, was only like a, she was only the the Louise. You know what I was just that instructor. She was literally just there for the show. Jasmine, you know if Elegancia Events had a fucking reality show, he would be Abby Lee. Yeah, literally. like those oh, stressed like, out exactly moments, that. like screaming, get yeah. that finger out of my face. Yeah. I was like <laughs> Louise. I've done events where like obviously my vendors know me, right? But <laughs> they they like. Voltan a escuchar. You're all scared. Like, what's going on? Is he okay? Es que me estreso bien feo. It's okay. So, Jasmine, would you consider dancing again? Oh my gosh. I think that if I actually stuck to it, I would love it still. Aww. I love it. You were it. also like a huge dance moms fan. Like, I loved all so, of like, it. So, like, we getting you into Abilene Studio, you were probably losing your shit, girl. Dream. Literally. Me fixing my hair. Like I'm that type of person. Like, <laughs> you know, because who else would have taken you? No one. I remember exactly. like no For because real. I literally remember you're like, do you want to dance like there? And I was like, yeah. And the, like we just did it like right after that. Jasmine's always been even till this day she watches like the dance mom stuff. I still watch all of it. Like no, while. Jasmine. Like Jasmine when they came over. Jasmine. Jasmine. Corey I be, was like, a heart attack. She's like, either watching she Little Woman Atlanta or she's Little watching um uh, Abby Lee or whatever. It was I have dance moms. Yeah, it's always Lifetime girl. I love their fucking shows. Like, why you watch Baddies, Jasmine? No, I've I'm been shocked. trying to watch it, but it's on. Um, what was it Baddies? Baddies. That I don't done. watch it either. I'm I need so to watch shocked, it. Jasmine, that you don't watch Baddies. I watch it on TikTok. <laughs> I need to watch it now. Did you guys watch so good. Jersey Shore back in the day? Oh, oh yeah, my God. yeah. That's crazy. I it feel like that's the last show that I ever watched. It on would TV. play on what? Thursdays, and I remember yeah. I would watch. I don't watch TV that much. No, before we waited the Tiki, I'd be like watching it. Yeah. It that was, was good. It. Don't they have like a new? Like, I feel season? like Damien, like low key, everybody got. I don't know. Do the keeping up with the Kardashians? Do they still do it? I honestly I'll don't watch it anymore. But I remember Damien, I mean, like there was a time it. that everybody was hooked on uh, watching it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love the Kardashians, but even then, I don't watch them like that anymore. Uh, 
It gets overdone. Mm-hmm. What season are they on? Like a hundred. You guys, you guys remember like during the pandemic that you would watch like at least me, I would watch a whole fucking Going season. Garcia? I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You would watch a whole season like in un dia. Oh my gosh! Oh. Yes. Wait, yeah. what's, your guys favorite, what's your guys' favorite shows right now on Netflix? Oh my gosh! Have you guys watched the monsters or monsters? The brothers, the Menendez brothers. Oh, we were just talking yes. about it last I week. It. I fact need that to it's a true watch story. It. No, That's it's crazy. actually but devastating. You see more like exciting with them now, right? No, you guys. It's no, it's well, yeah. They were like pretty much like molested by their yeah. dad like the whole I life. I need to watch. Is it a movie or a documentary? It's, it's a, a show. Ones, it's a show. It's a documentary show. No, they they no, just came out with a documentary with the brothers there's now. There's an actual like show. I don't know, the actual show are actors. Yeah, it's yeah, actors. There's different story. versions. Yeah. No, but with this show, they make the brothers look like the monsters That's too. That's why I'm saying this. So it's well, weird, that you it's have weird. to be like this open minded. No, yeah, for you to kill your parents is unnormal. Like the no, way they kill them too. Yeah. Like, the like way they the killed reasons the why they had yeah and then it, like it all makes sense now people are like siding with him yeah but the show made them look like mon- monsters no yeah it, they made that one the, one of the brothers look like evil give it uh. as it cuenta as it cuenta like like gypsy rose yes yeah similar vibes the parents like that's why taking people are advantage. Saying free exactly i feel like their only way of like being free was that in their head was like i need to like eliminate them wow. literally like yeah. Well, yeah, because they were they were already scared that their parents were gonna kill them. Like they were already fe- they were already oh, like yeah. Shit. yeah, wow. You know, like let's be for real. Like again, we don't know, but you know, like with Gypsy Rose, who knows que la mano la terminó de matar with all the medication que le daba. And that's probably what she was thinking. Like probably. you know, yeah, that tenía like come on, like it's it's a lot. I pero, know. Where I wanted to go with uh, with my house not being haunted, even yeah, the one she spooky story at. No, no, okay, no, no, no. watch so. When I bought my house, I bought it because of the look of like being like vintage, yeah. right? Like it has mm. the original wooden floors and has the original chimney. Like it has a basement. I love my house. Iconic. Even the smell of like an old library, I love it. Yeah. I love. I love my house. Like mm-hmm. it might not be my forever home because I've thought about it. Like you know, maybe later I want to have something more modern. But anyways, luckily it didn't come with ghosts. Right, like, <laughs> no, because that was my biggest fear. Like thinking, like, okay, I mean, yeah, I was thinking, like, it's a hundred years old. Like, who knows? Like, yeah. you know, qué ha pasado aquí? Like, how many families have lived through here already? Mm-hmm. Like, the energy. My house has so much peace. I could literally be in this living room, like, two, three in the morning, and That's like, good. no weird vibes, right? But remember when we used to live in Chino Hills? That house wasn't even that old. That, and that was, house was so. I think no, it just not only Chino on Hills. But I think that told me like maybe like a year ago. She's like, Daddy, what? Well, when we moved to the new house, right? She's like, Daddy, remember the monster that used to live in the living room? Oh, what? The fact that she said, remember the monster that used to live in the living room? What? And remember, That's you where used to see saying. that monster. I, I even mean, had a wing. Jasmine had seen something in that living room yeah, two she once. Did. And I you know what it. my dad what? said? I saw her. Say that in oh that living God. room, that he went under, that he eventually he went under the house yeah. and that they found like, um, Blue Blue dolls. Dolls. I believe it. I believe it. There was one day I was sleeping after like a, really That's crazy night at the tiki i had fallen asleep in the living room and i remember waking up and i i, I remember feeling like i was floating in the air and i wanted to run to the room Myra, and my feet were literally in the air like this well oh, yeah. that's what i thought i experienced some paranormal shit remember our room how it had a hallway a hallway going down and it to was the like room. it was like a curtain door we so you could see under it yes sir. i literally remember one night like hearing steps i saw the shadow and there was no feet or I would hear like legit like dishes like fucking moving, See? falling on the ground at night. Like we experienced paranormal that shit. Karina, was it with you or with Maya when we heard the pig in Chino Hills? Me and you no, heard a pig. Like crazy. literally both heard a loud ass we pig. We were, for some reason, guys. This, that actually, is the closest the Chino ever Hills house, to be real life paranormal shit. The Chino Hills house was old too. If you read, that, not 100 one, years old. I actually heard it was a cemetery oh, back I, I then. Oh, I don't know about you, it. Yeah, you, you, you guys never lived there. there. But Luis, remember our aunt's house was hella haunted too? That and they were right Chino. behind us. We found out later that that whole area well, was like Peter a cemetery. Well, Peter still lives in that area. Peter oh, still lives there. Shit. That whole little community, like, I mean, everybody I has stories cre- about their house. Peter too. has stories too of the house. Yeah. We were like, only like four houses down. We had stories. Our tia lived behind us. And it has stories. I don't know. That whole community was like haunted. Y cosas feas. Like cosas that you would actually see stuff. Like see things move. Us hearing that pig, Luis, was... Like whenever I think of... Like whenever I get active, I see anything paranormal, experience anything, I think of that because I'm like both of us, like 
That was not a hallucination. It's a like, core memory. We both. It's I get literally the chills a core memory. Wait, wait, what happened exactly? Okay, this like, is what happened. Uh-huh. I remember. How do you remember, Luis? Okay. okay I so, remember the same. It's so, all a dream. It was no. all different stories. Okay, let me tell you. So that's what I was going to say earlier. For some reason, the washer and the dryer were in the garage. Oh, yeah. Right? Okay, yeah, yeah. So you would have to like exit the back kitchen door, go around the house. For some reason, there was no door to the garage inside the house. You had to go outside the house. Oh, shit. That's yeah. true. So in my memory, right? In my memory, we were going to the kitchen. Mm. Like, like no me acuerdo si íbamos a la cocina or we were going to go outside to the garage. Because it was one of those nights that, like, oh, we were oh, scared, yeah. It was one of those nights, like, come with me because I have to go to the garage and get clothes from the dryer. Type of thing. Oh, like, I'm scared. Like, like let's go. Me, yeah. Y Karina se fue conmigo. And, and for some reason, the lights were off. Like, yes, the lights were off. We yeah. had not yet got to the I remember point to turn the, the lights on. And I remember the shape of the table and everything, like, right there <gasps> on I the remember side. all of it. It's we were literally memory. walking next to it, and we heard... <laughs> Like, like really a loud. nasty, loud ass pit coming from underneath. And we the literally table. ran back to the room, like screaming, <laughs> oh terrified, <my> terrified. <laughs> terrified. We just heard. I a pig. literally, Luis, like it's crazy. Like right now, how you described it, I got the chills because yeah. I literally like remember from my is it called peripheral vision? Yeah, it's called. Like I remember seeing like the shape of the table and, and everything. A perfect square. Yes. Yeah. And I just remember hearing like I I didn't see anything, but I knew it was coming from underneath the dining table. And I don't know what it was. Every single like piece of my body knew it was something like bad. Oh, I knew it was. It was bad. And I had no idea what it meant till later, like what it actually what meant to hear a pig. pig. What does oh, it mean shit. to hear a pig? It's like on some demonic oh. shit. It's like they say that when you hear a pig, it's the actual yeah like the actual well isn't like even the, like huh? isn't that a thing when like, like is wait isn't it like a un puerco, así, que es el diablo. yeah it's like yeah. demon stuff huh? and i'm telling you guys like this is you know how wait, people would you tell see stories anything, or is it just you no, no we, just heard, we just heard like a nasty hog like loud ass fucking oh, pig yeah. ugly jasmine don't they say yeah. when you see ugly. one too that it's like really bad luck I know, sé, when you snore, when you see when like a oh my, <laughs> when you snore. In esa casa, Jasmine, luckily you didn't live there, pero en la noche escuchábamos like bitch, like everything. like scratches on the walls, and my grandma would be like, son las ratas, like we didn't have rats in the house. Yeah. Pero ella, I para, remember, to make us feel better, I like you're like hearing knocking on the walking fucking on the door. The, Do you guys yeah. remember the people walking on the roof? Like huh? you could hear like walking people on the walking roof. roof on the techo. When well, I remember my, my grandma, my grandma said once that she was sleeping. Ella dormía en la sala. Yeah. En el, in the summer, obviously, and that the for some the reason, didn't even have AC. Now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, because my grandma, she, I mean, damn, we really trusted the neighborhood because she would sleep with the door open. Yeah, and she. Said well, she I mean, like, Chino Hills was, you know, very. It was a trusted safe. neighborhood. Pero, um, mi mi abuelita abría con la dormía con la puerta abierta para que entrara lo fresco. Yeah. Ella decía que ella miraba las like, sombras entrar y salir de la casa. Yeah. But for her, it was normal, I guess. I mean, I think, yeah, I think she had, like, yeah. really strong faith and stuff, but... But no, that ooh, house, definitely, crazy. we would see shit. Oh. Really bad. Damn. That, what it, else would you guys see, like, wild? That's a lot, I can't I remember. I don't know, but that pig shit was the one that stuck with me. But that house like, taught me that to shit. see it normal. Like, to me, like, it was normal. Like, oh, like, it's normal. Like, I guess ghosts. I really thought, like, everybody in the world saw ghosts. I thought anybody would hear ghosts. Yeah. That house was something else for sure. Wait, okay, so I have a question about the ho- current house you live in right now because it's almost 100 years old. Like, how are you sure that nobody has passed there? I don't know. Are you just, do I they just have know. to tell you, no? Like, do they have to tell you when you buy a house? Right? What? It's not, it's que, eso no lo que, mira, because I, the owners can't a mí no me da be miedo, alive, a mí right? No me da miedo, like, que alguien se haga muerto en la casa. ¿Sabes lo que me da miedo? Que haga como una identidad mala. Oh, like a oh, bad identity. And that, a bad okay. What? That would bad matter entity. to me. Bad entity. That would... Like bad, that, uh, huh? Like something... Like oh, a bad he's saying bad that he doesn't fear people dying in a house. He's worried. Yeah. He's, he fears a bad entity in the house. Well, not just yeah. that, though. It goes like... like we like, are gonna die. They were all gonna die. I would hate for me to die in a house and people would be scared of me later. I'd be like, bitch, no, I, I'm, yeah. worried, I'm worried about like you, bad bitch. Bad yeah, entities or guess whatever you call guys, it. Guys, guys, to me, yo creo que todos tenemos algo aquí you know, que nos hace hacer cosas malas, right? Pecados or whatever. Okay. Pero... We're all living with that. We're all living with it. We're all living with it. Pero hay veces que, like, you literally lo ves. Oh, or lo, you lo sientes. Or you feel the energy. So do you feel like when people see bad stuff, it's your own? It's a spiritual warfare out there, y'all. I feel like they're coming. They want something to you. That's how I see it. Let me tell you. Real fast, because I know this is going to be the longest podcast. So, <laughs> you know how Patty and I'm Junior recently... Um, my cuñada got married recently from in church yeah. and stuff. 
So I remember I was actually paying attention to to the to the mass because I never do because I'm always working. But that day I was a guest. So I was actually yeah. listening to the priest. And he said something that stuck with me so much mm -hmm. that he was like, oh, you know, like, I'm glad that you guys finally decided to, like, get married through church, you know, do the things the right way, mm -hmm. whatever. Because they have kids already. They had been married, but not through church. Mm -hmm. He's like, he's like, and I and I believe that you guys are doing this right now because you guys are at a very stable and happy yeah. part of your life. So, like, even though after all these years, you're finally stabled enough to to consider God uniting your marriage, mm -hmm. right? He's like, but right now is when the devil's going to work the most to destroy Oh, it. that's. Oh, yes. That's like so what they he say. Said, he said, like, like right now is when you mostly need to take care of it because the devil cannot see you happy. Yes. He's going to do his best to destroy it. So take care of it. And that's what I mean. A lot of the times, all those stories, all those movies that you see of like the dad killing the family. I see like, it's like, it could be a perfect family. Oh. And then the dad gets possessed. Right. Yes, el matadero. Gosh. It, when you have, when God is in your home and you're happy with your kids and your family, Wait. es cuando el diablo más se te va a meter. And you hear that a lot in uh. church. When you get closer, get your baptized, faith gets stronger. Get, like, Por eso uno tiene que tener mucha fe en Dios, you know, y tratar yeah. de ser mejores personas. That's oh it. Gosh. We all need God. I mean. Yeah. Yes, period. We all need him, like, regardless. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. Ya, yeah, es que todo mundo está peleando. Todo mundo tiene algo que está peleando en su cabeza. Mm -hmm. Todo mundo. Well, y'all, yeah, I think this is going to wrap up this episode. <laughs> It was so good having y'all here. Thank Would you guys like consider coming on Skinny Tober next year? It's all the fucking village. <laughs> And you, you know what? Cool. Talking about, like, like earlier, how we're talking about, like, your friends. Mm -hmm. They invited me to Skinny Tober last week. I couldn't come. Oh huh? well, no, the week before that, right? We were gonna invite you for the whole month, but you couldn't make it the first I couldn't week. make it the first one because I had stuff to do. But that that was my biggest thing. Like, how am I gonna fit in with them? Because I don't I don't you know Luis, Boy, you bye. No, bye. but you know what I mean? Like <laughs> like I don't wanna seem like a dick, like throw Margado in the corner, like not be not being able to like You swear, dude. Like you no, first of all, when you're around all of us, you are definitely not quiet. No. I don't know what you're talking about. Let me tell you guys, let me tell you guys. When you guys hang out Here together and like <laughs> when you guys hang out together outside of the podcast, it's different than when you guys get to the podcast. I see it like that. What do you mean? Like I feel like like actually creating topics and stuff, you know, like that 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 I don't know. Como que I feel like the dynamic of me being here with everybody will be like, oh, I'll be like, pues que hablo, you know. <laughs> anyway, anyways, everybody have a safe Halloween, you know. Oh well, yeah. I mean, I won't see you guys <laughs> till like I don't know, I'm like <laughs> another episode, but. That's it. Yeah, hopefully, Wait. everybody has a safe Halloween. Yeah, I love how you started off as Beetlejuice and now it's giving Joker low key. <laughs> right. But thank you guys for thank coming guys. on. We hope to have you guys on in the near future. With that being hopefully. said, that wraps up Skinny Tober season three, episode three. <laughs> we'll, we'll see, see you on the next one.